morning, Jesse here. Um, just wanted to thank you for coming back today. I'm gonna do a still life. I'm gonna do the one that I set up the other day, just demonstrating how to set it up. So today I'm gonna paint it. Um, I'll scan it over so you can see it. I took the oranges out and added some grapes. I think it looks much prettier, very classical. Um, and I'm gonna do it really big too. I've got this 20 by 24 canvas. And I wanted to do this one this way because I wanna show how to do backgrounds and um, grapes, all those different elements that are fun. And I'm going to start out and fast forward, and then I'm going to interject slower time just to show how to paint various elements and to talk about different things that I'm doing and what I'm thinking. All right, hope this is fun. Okay, I just want to stop it for a minute and just talk about what I've been thinking about here and my concept and how I lay things in. Okay, so I basically have what I would consider my first layer. I've laid everything in where I want it. I'm thinking about composition. I'm thinking about what's going to go on up here. Um, I want a little bit of interest. I'll put the peacock feathers just suggested. I might add some, take some out, shorten them, just adjust that to make this work. Um, I'm thinking about, I, I don't know if you noticed, I turned my canvas vertical because I think that it lent itself better to this kind of format. Um, I'm thinking about this book here in the shadow. I want to show basically just the spine and a little bit of this. This is going to be really hidden but suggested and I love that idea. Um, when I do an undercoat, I will start to think about the colors that I want. Um, as a underlayer, for example, the grapes and the wine, I know that I'm going to be using more alizarin crimson and I want those grapes to appear transparent. So I will do um, alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue to, as a scumbling, to sort of suggest um, that transparent layer. When I paint those, you'll see, I'll just kind of shape out the background and paint on some of that dusting of the grape and leave it alone. I'm not going to overwork them. So that a lizard and will really show through um, and then you know basically I'm thinking about kind of framing it in in this way with a darker value all around I'm not gonna draw the eye right off the canvas with this white down here so I'm gonna just soften that but I want this impact and um, I haven't put that value note in yet but I wanted to stop here just to kind of talk about those things I'm kind of thinking too about where I'm gonna lead the eye with edges so I'm going to have my knife coming in here and that's going to be one of those things where I really spend some time doing some detail work because I think it'll be really cool. Um, and the grapes and I'll have this, um, this will, what is what I call my hot spot. So that's going to have a nice big beautiful glow here with the grapes and um, that's what I'm thinking so far. Okay, I just wanted to talk a minute about what I'm thinking about here because this is kind of an interesting um, concept. So I have uh, an orangey tone copper here and I have a lot of reds in the wine and the grape. So in the background, to encourage that um, contrast, I'm using the complementary colors. On this side, to make this face pop even just a little, I'm adding more blues to my background. And then over here where I have all these reds, I'm adding more greens to the background to make that pop a little. And when um, I get towards the end and I start scumbling some of the, my background tones, I'll enhance that a little bit more. All right. So I wanted to take a minute to talk about what I'm doing. I'm about an hour into the painting and um, I just wanted to, at this point, 
kind of slow down and just highlight some of these things I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about um, the light coming through this way and starting to really focus on the drama in the center here. And I'm also thinking about connecting, um, just creating an overall sense of unity rather than division. So yes, I'm painting grapes and the bottle, but how can I unite them with edges and color? The glass, how can I unite that with the bottle? And are there any free-flowing lines that I can use throughout um, that will help um, just connect and have an overall sense of unity? what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop now and do some grapes and I'm um, just going to work on it in regular time so you can see. I'm not going to do all the grapes, um, just a few, just to show you how I do it. So I have um, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and yellow ochre. A little bit more of this. And I kind of pretty much already have those, as you saw, uh, have a base of the alizarin here. And then some of these areas, I don't know if you can see on the film, but I did do some cadmium red in there just to kind of help more of that have more of that translucent effect.
keep a little bit of variety there. And so you make a swipe with your dust color and then you soften the inside edge of it. So you make a swipe. When you're doing highlights on a grape, um, my lighting here is very cool. So I'm going to take a little bit of the ultramarine blue and white and get a nice mixture there. And I'm not going to highlight every grape, but just pick out a few key grapes. I'm going to do kind of a blue-white shine that I'm going to soften. 